This episode of eHealth Radio is brought to you by you Natural Empowering. Your health is natural as counting sheep and much, much more effective. Serenity is the natural sleep aid supplement that helps you wind down without the grogginess and fogginess that habit-forming sleep aids can sometimes cause. Try it risk-free for 90 days with 15% off from eunatural.com using checkout code eHealth. 15. Again, that is unatural.com. Check out code eHealth15. This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the eHealth Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. eHealth Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing health care as we know it. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. Today we're speaking with Dr. Christopher Marcus Colbert, the Assistant Program Director of the Emergency Medicine Residency Program at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Additionally, he is the Chair of Continuing Medical Education for the American College of Osteopathic Emergency Physicians, the co-chair of Illinois College of Emergency Physicians Spring Symposiums and Lieutenant Colonel in the United States Army Reserves. Dr. Colbert has provided and moderated lectures nationally and internationally, receiving awards for both speaker engagement and contribution to medical education. Dr. Colbert, thanks so much for spending a moment with us here today on eHealth Radio. Hey, again, thank you for the invitation. And you're certainly more than welcome. Our pleasure. So tell us every day you walk into the ER, you face the unknown. But since the pandemic, you sort of know that no matter what that day, you will be facing down the belly of the beast when you walk in those doors. How do you deal with all that mentally? I, I'm sure the listeners would like to hear your take on that. Well, the beauty of emergency medicine is that there's just a potpourri of health, a variety of management options, great pathology Um I've always been interested in biology, anatomy, and specifically when it, in the topic of emergency medicine, you get to see it all. You get to see psych, you get to see trauma, you get to see cardiology. Um, sometimes the day is a little bit tough, and and um, it can be tough, and that's a part of being the emergency room. However, the good and the contribution that you can make to the community supersedes that. Um, there are some really tough days, and uh, but there are some tough days, and that outshine those tough days are the really grateful days, the days where you affect change, the days where you can affect someone's life in a positive attribute, as well as um, the patients come in contact with you, and it's a refreshing, usually a refreshing engagement between two individuals, and it just brightens your day to see patients as well. Yeah, I can't imagine what you've been seeing on a daily basis and really appreciate what you do in this space and the impact you're having there locally. Now tell us, what are you doing to keep your mental health intact and what is your advice to others in the medical field in these regards? Um, Find a passion outside of emergency medicine. Um, You have to step out. You have to step out and and enjoy the roses, so to speak. Um, Spending time with family is always at the top of that list and doing something outside of medicine, vacationing, reading books, exercising. Uh, for me, um, uh, is music. Um, I played an instrument in college, and so I still dabble in playing my instrument as well as I exercise a lot, and I listen to different genres of music. And that is my resource that allows me to just – be in the moment of something else other than medicine, and it keeps you healthy. It just keeps you mentally and physically healthy. And so my suggestion to anyone pursuing any interest in medicine is don't forget the other passions of your life and put those in the forefront of wellness and ensuring longevity of the practice of medicine. Yeah, Dr. Colbert, really appreciate that input there, most helpful. Now, if you would, give our listeners advice and or recommendations regarding the pandemic like to hear your take on that um stay healthy um and healthy means hand washing social distancing as well as um wearing a mask um 
clearly by documentation, documentation as evidence shows it works. And it's a, it's a small ask during a pandemic to those three things work. And that's something that we can actually say we can have an effect on and we can implement the policy. So that would be the big thing. Uh, the second thing would be be creative, find alternatives to your passions, to the things that you enjoy doing, because we can't go to the movies. Um, we can't at this time go bowling. Uh, this is a great opportunity to spend time with family to look for other avenues of endeavors. There's that kind of silver lining on the cloud of COVID, and that's it's pushed our community to look at different options and explore different options to be healthy. And that's going outside in some capacity, maybe not taking long trips, maybe just taking a, a local walk in or take up local hiking or in some aspects, find a different avenue to stay healthy. And this is a great opportunity to do so. And then my final suggestion would be realize that this is one of the challenges um, that we all face and that collectively we can face and we can definitely see through this. Um, we've made significant strides in medical management, in triage, as well as um, in some states significantly decreasing and mitigating the spread of COVID. Um, have faith in what we're doing and in what you are doing as a community. It definitely is going to take a global team effort here to combat this virus and get it under control and really appreciate your thoughts and advice in those regards as well. As natural as counting cheap and much, much more effective, try Serenity at 15% off from unatural.com with checkout code EHEL15. Again, that is eunatural.com, checkout code EHEL15. Today we're speaking with Dr. Christopher Marcus Colbert, the Assistant Program Director of the Emergency Medicine Residency Program at the University of Illinois at Chicago. He's joined us here today on eHealth Radio's Health News Channel, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, Dr. Colbert, how will the way we look at hospitals in the future change, and do you think this is a good or a bad outlook? You know, again, I think this is, again, this COVID has placed us in a position to change. Um, a big aspect is telemedicine. Um, this has allowed patients to maintain more conversation with their family practice doctor and in some aspects with consults just by using a phone. Um, I know that within the emergency room now, what we specifically offered with the, when we were heavily hit with COVID to decrease the transmission and decrease the exposure of just physicians themselves. Um, if I'm in the emergency room and a patient needs an orthopedic consult to decrease the possibility of exposing that orthopedic surgeon to COVID, we have iPads in the emergency room so that the actual, we can push the iPad in the room and then there can be a discussion between the patient and that consult on an iPad. That is a game changer for the future of medicine. Um, this allows a convenience for a consult to be notified and actually have real time interaction with the patient and the ER physician. So that's a positive way we can go. Um, with triage, um, at one point, had this been last year, if you were sick, you just walked right into the emergency room and sat down. It didn't make a difference whether you had a cold, whether you had appendicitis, whether you had a headache, or if you had a splinter, you sat in the exact same room with everybody else. Well, with the onset of COVID, we're very cognizant of now, we're more cognizant of who is sitting next to whom in the triage. And so we've tailored our triage across this nation in reference to specifically stating, hey, if you have these symptoms, we're going to have you sit in this room. And if you have these symptoms, we're going to have you sit in this room. So this way, we've made a safer triage for our patients, as well as we tailor what we're looking for, and it allows those patients to come back a little bit sooner and labs to be drawn specifically to that chief complaint while in triage. So those are some really great aspects in the change of medicine 
in a really great direction. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, and thanks for your outlook as we look into the future in medicine and at hospitals and healthcare as well. Now, through all of this, what have you learned about yourself and or your colleagues during this time? That's a really good question. Um, I, I honestly, to be quite honest with you, it was very humbling with COVID to realize how vulnerable physicians are. Um, this is, I've been a physician for 13 years. This is the first time that I've worked with peers and we go to work and then we leave to go home and kind of look at each other like, I don't want to bring this home to my family. Um, there's that pause. There's that pause when you park your car in the garage and think, okay, I've got to take everything off. I don't bring anything into my home. Or just the fact that I worked with colleagues that got COVID and they were gone for two weeks. Some of them were sick. I had never worked in a capacity where we, I was working with staff on a Monday and then they were gone on a Wednesday. And that, that was a really humbling moment when I was, we're so used to treating patients, we don't think twice about ourselves. We just see your patients, hey, you've got chest pain, my name's Dr. Colbert, let's help, let's figure this out. And um, it, it was very humbling when, when really, when at the height of COVID in Chicago, really in like mid-March toward the beginning of April, and half of our staff was gone. Um, that was a very humbling moment. Um, that's, that's one of the things that I, that I can honestly say that when I walk away from um, the, the experience of COVID is that that was the one time in 13 years that I honestly looked around and said, hey, you guys, we can't get sick. Or, hey, I'm worried about you if you've got a cough. Had this been last year, one of my colleagues had a cough. I'm like, oh, you got a cough. Here's some Robitussin. I'll see your shift tomorrow. So that was a very humbling aspect of COVID. And I think that actual concern was felt by all staff. It's, you know, it's nurses, it's techs, it's EMS, it's the police officers, you know, the fire department that would bring patients in. And believe it or not, that kind of brought us closer because we all shared that same thought, that we all had that same concern. And again, you know, the, the, the gray, the silver lining on that gray cloud of COVID is it, it brought a sense of unity specifically to their first and providers. Dr. Colbert, really appreciate your joining us here today and sharing the lowdown of what you've been seeing since the pandemic, the differences between uh, before and after and what you see things being like in the future. Really helpful as well. And again, we really appreciate what you're doing there in this space. Where can listeners connect with you and uh, get more information on yourself and follow you online? Where's the best place to do so? Oh, well, great. Um, again, um, my name is Christopher Colbert. I'm the APD at University of Illinois. Uh, Dr. Chris ER, uh, that is my Twitter, and Dr. Chris dot ER is my Instagram. Please feel free to ask any questions and uh, kind of get into the inside of a, the average ER, the academic ER doctor. And really appreciate your inviting folks to follow you on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll leave these links within the show notes of this broadcast as well. Again, Dr. Colbert, all the best, and thanks so much for joining us here today on e Health Radio. Take care. Hey, thank you for having me. And you're more than welcome. Certainly was our pleasure. We've been speaking with Dr. Christopher Marcus Colbert, the Assistant Program Director of the Emergency Medicine Residency Program at the University of Illinois at Chicago. And to follow or to contact Dr. Colbert on Twitter, it is at Dr. Chris ER and or on Instagram, it is at Dr. Chris dot ER. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the eHealth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.
This episode of eHealth Radio was brought to you by Unatural, empowering your health as natural as counting sheep and much, much more effective. Try Serenity at 15% off from unatural.com with checkout code eHealth15. Again, that is eunatural.com, checkout code eHealth15.